Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. Thanks again for watching. Um, there are times when it's useful to review forecasting tools and the information that we have available to us. And what I've been doing over the weekend is actually taking a look at the Gramet uh, forecasts that are available. You can get these um, from various different places on the uh, web, and this one's from Autoroot Adopt Aero. Um, Gramet's quite interesting because they give you a cross section of what the weather is going to be doing, and you can plot a route by putting two different points in and then what the Gromet does is it picks up model data and it presents it in a graphical format such as you can see here. In fact um, I actually did a video about Gromets and how to interpret them and that's available at the YouTube channel but I just wanted to show you this because I thought this was quite interesting um, about what's happening today. This is the Gromet focused on um, my airfield which is Hapney Green uh, just west of Wolverhampton and uh, this was the Gromet for today and it's quite interesting it's based on the German weather service icon model which is a high resolution model and um, what it quite nicely shows and the time is across the bottom here this is 0800 11 14 1700 all UTC and what it quite nicely shows look is the development of cumulus clouds from around 11 o'clock onwards that's what this means here these these big clouds you see here and the tops on these are shown as uh, getting up to the best part of sort of 17 18 thousand feet potentially um, also shown on here the winds uh, which uh, in standard format and also temperatures so at 5,000 feet it was looking here today at a 280 25 knots and at 10,000 feet it was looking at 300 at around 30 knots. In fact, those are flight levels, so that would be flight level uh, 050, flight level 100, temperature of minus 11. Something else that's useful on these, these green areas, these highlight areas where there may be some icing, has to be treated very carefully, um, but still it's pretty handy to see. Now, what I was interested in today was comparing how the Gramet looks to the satellite picture and the skew tees and you can see the satellite picture here sort of rotating around and what's of interest is this is that area of cumulus cloud developing that was picked up um, by the Gramet and you see that there moving through Hankley Green which is about here so as I just run that sequence you'll see it all moving its way eastwards through Hankley Green during the course of today so actually that was not a bad interpretation However, you do have to apply some caution to these grommets, and this is why skew tees remain the most useful tool that you can use when you're looking at uh, upper air forecasting. I'll, I'll show you why. So this is the forecast skew tee then for uh, 10 o'clock this morning, and what we have here, winds up the right hand side here, and notice that the winds are at um, many more levels than we saw on the uh, the grommets. Um, and what's interesting is you can immediately see where there are any gaps in the clouds, if there are any gaps in the clouds, and also how unstable the atmosphere is. This one is showing us that the atmosphere is not that unstable. But if we then look at the forecast skew T for three o'clock during the afternoon, um, we can see immediately that the cloud bases here are coming in at around uh, two and a half to 3,000 feet. The tops, similar to the grommets, are coming in um, at around about 15 to 16,000 feet. But interestingly, this shows us the tops could get much higher than that, up to around 20 to 25,000 feet. It also shows us that the atmosphere, whilst being unstable, is not drastically unstable, but that's still showers that show on here. And interestingly as well, by looking at the winds here, and we can see that they're veering with height. So when we say veering with height that means going around the clock face so let's say going from a westerly to a northwesterly and what that means is that veering means that warmer air is arriving into the area and what that tends to do is to stabilize the atmosphere which means it sits on the showers which means that the showers can't be as heavy and we can read all of that extra information from the skew t fact and just indulge me for a moment here if we bring up the satellite picture you can actually see sort of a, a, um, a, a scalloping effect in the cloud there across Wales and across southwestern parts of England look you see how that develops this afternoon that's actually that stabilization process taking place when the atmosphere stabilizes it means that the cumulus clouds can't grow as big it means that they shrink and it means that any showers 
are likely to be lighter. And that's why I prefer the skew T diagram to the grommet. Now, if you'd like to improve your skills or even learn how to use the SKU-T, then you can take my online course. Um, so just go to weatherschool.co.uk and what you do is come down to aviation and you'll see there a pilot's guide to SKU-Ts. Just click on that and you can take the course straight away. It takes you about three hours and it covers everything from forecasting cloud bases, tops, predicting showers, predicting winds, thunderstorms, icing, etc. from the SKU-T diagram. You get lifetime access as well and um, you can do that immediately so just go to weatherschool.co.uk as I say come to aviation click on online a pilot sky to skew so and you can take my course it's entirely presented by me okay well hopefully uh, you found that uh, useful thanks again for watching keep the sun shining and bye for now